Vikings, it gladdens me to welcome you back to yet another glorious episode of my Mountain Blade 2 Bad Lord Crusade Horse Archer Only Challenge. Our journey continues exactly where we left off last time, and we shall continue to wage war on the Northern Empire, whom declared war upon us, and they shall rue the day they did so. However, I just stopped by Ukton, and I bought a bunch of horses, and hopefully that will uh, allow us to uh, actually do some of these available upgrades. All of them, in fact, absolutely lovely. We still got about 70 Crusade Nomads who need horses, though, so we're gonna go ahead and recruit a couple more lads and go to Akalat and see if they can sell us some cavalry as well. We have 200 troops, we can have 25 more, and how things are going currently, I presume those will be Crusade Nomads, too. <laughs> Why are you gaining recruits? Dude, uh, talk to party Hi, leader. Elite. Let me inspect their troops. Dude, what the f you doing? Why do you have 70? Never mind, that's me. <laughs> but wait, this is even worse. Okay, that's not that, that's not mounted cavalry. That's not even crusades. Oh, brother. She had one job. And he managed to mess it up as well. Let's give him some other troops, shall we? We're gonna give him uh, none of these. We're gonna give him uh, some Azerite veteran caravan guard because they are mounted archers. Make sure that we don't give him the wrong ones. All right, 119. Very nice indeed. I must leave now. Yes, bye bye. I will go ahead and let these guys scatter to the wind. I know I can put them in a the garrison. The garrisons don't really count. However, I got a high suspicion that I'll forget to do so. But it looks like we're down to 190. Okay, that wasn't that bad. It's fine. It's just 12 troops scattered into the wind. But we do need to check her Hi, too. Let me inspect your troops. Uh, I wish there was a way to only allow them to recruit one sort of troops. That would be very nice indeed. Let's give her some Crusade Raiders. Here we go. And then the last one. Awaiting your room. Yeah, let me inspect your troops. Oh, this is just as bad. All right. Only five troops, though. Okay, it wasn't as bad, but still annoyingly bad. I'm gonna give her some raiders. 94 out of 94. Perfectly perfect. And I'm gonna go in here. Hired Pike, get out of here. Azerai, get out of here. Azerai, Azerai. Obviously, we're gonna keep the Kusate nobles. Uh, Kusate nomads, rather. And there we go, I'm down to 181. Okay, so not as bad as I first feared. Let's go to Akalat. And see what they got for sale. Ukton had a bunch of horses. Let's see what these guys have. Not a bunch, but they do got some. Uh, war mounts for a very cheap price, very nice. And some normal mounts too. Very nice indeed, only 9,000. Do you have any troops though? Yes, you do. I want all of them, except this funny looking guy. You know what? We're gonna take uh, another little roundabout here and we're gonna make our way down towards Chica Chica land. Got 14 available upgrades. Don't mind if I do now, do ya? We're up to 507 in our grand army. Look at this. I actually got some horsemen right off the bat for once. We're gonna go all the way to Rasam, Urtungrad, and then we're gonna go to Chica Chica land. That is the way, brother. I want all of them except this guy. Perfect. We can have 15 more troops. The reason I want to go to Rasam is see if they got some cavalry for me or some horses for me to buy. Either one works. I want you, 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 and you. Thank you. All right, got some stepped horse. Stepped hunter. Very nice indeed. Come on, Urtungrad. I need 10,000 horses, please. Unlimited supply. Trade. What do they have? They got some... Oh, some stepped hunters and some stepped horse. That's a mount and war mounts. So 14 more, more war mounts. 16 more normal mounts. I'm not going to pay 6,000. There's just no way, brother. Both of these guys. Thank you very much. Do I have any prisoners? Nay, I do not. Uh, do I have a spot for any more companions? Six out of seven companions. 
you know what we're gonna wait a little bit because i might recruit a different cultured companion instead of just having kusates looks like one of our villagers is in trouble though recruit troops you 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 oh is this gonna max it out ah perfect and i also want you and you look at that one big happy family we just spent 40k from the beginning of the episode up until now but that's fine got another 20 available upgrades 11 nomads finally earning their stripes and we're very close to our enemy now we could engage in battle anytime however i do want to give my nomads some time to uh, actually upgrade what would be nice is a little warband that wouldn't be too costly this was very disappointing, Chica Chica Land. I am not impressed. Uh, let's just have a little gounder. Chainmail, so we have the Cataprak to half. Oh wow, we actually have great armor. Got any nice other armor? Head armor is worse than the one I already got. And mine looks cooler. You have some Mitted Brigand armor, which has uh, better leg and arm protection. It looks worse though. Why? Okay, wife. We don't like these, do we? Let's get her some proper Kusate ones instead. Perfect. Now she has the helmet. Very good. This guy, he looks good too. You though. Brother, what are you doing? We're gonna give him some good armor. Because I'm a nice guy like that. Do you have more... You don't have more shoulder plates than that? Really? What is this? Shorty plates. We'll give him some leather... Ah, oh, no, that's disgusting. I'll pay 50,000. That's fine. I bleed money every day. You know what? We are gonna make... Uh... Hey, make me. They might got some better armor. And it's on the way to our enemies anyways. We need to go there right now to start making some more money. Because we're currently losing 5,000 a day. Holy moly! And we're paying a bunch of tribute too. Oh, we did a Kusate though. And a little bit to the Ezra. Let's pretend like we didn't just see that, but oh my days, 5,000. That's a lot of, that's a lot of money. Can't have more troops. Let's see what they got there. Yeah, we're gonna get... Oh, but they're... They're 10,000 almost a piece. Alright, so only the ones who are with me gets it. Pummeled helmet, very nice indeed. Wow, kind of looks badass. I'm not gonna lie, brother. Now let's get you a low-tier bow too. You got arrows. Balance-stepped bow. There you go. All right, lovely. 23,000. We're down to 394,000. We better see some battle. Now, let's have a little gander here. I mean, no matter what town we lay siege to, it's going to be isolated from our kingdom. So I don't necessarily need to take over anything. I just want war with a big army. Now I'm ready. Only four more upgrades, though. Don't mind if I do. Uh, you know what? We might just go ahead and force them to give me goods. And they're just gonna give it. That sucks. I want one of you villagers to stand up to us. Stand up against corruption! Ah, oh, they just give it to you. I mean, I guess I would too. If I were them. But then again, there's no glory in it. Oh, Ulpis, that is a perfect size for me to... Uh, Train some of my recruits. Oh, come on, dude. You're just gonna roll it away. Why am I so slow? Let's see. Uh, the biggest draw is forest. Ah, uh, we're not gonna be able to catch up to him, are we? We do have four more upgrades, though. All right, whatever, buddy. Whatever, buddy. So 
So how strong are the Northern Empire? They're 5,000 strong. So technically, if I lay siege, it should prompt one of them to uh, come out and face us. That's my hope here. Either that or we take it and devastate it. It's fun. It's, it's all fine by me. Come on now, Northern Empire. Take to bait. Ah, you know you want to. We have another leadership perk. Great leader or make the difference. Make a difference. 100 plus percent uh, battle morale to troops when you kill an enemy in battle. Or plus five battle at uh, the beginning. Same culture as you. Ah, I'll do this one. Are they seriously not going to come and defend their city? Well, don't mind if I have a bit of fun now, do ya? You only have one catapult. We're going to go ahead and lead the assault. And gain some glory for ourselves here. Might as well. When they leave it so in the open without anybody defending it. What did you expect when the Crusade Horde came to ride by? Um, who are you guys? Ah, uh, you're the nomads. You know what? Um, you guys can can stay here. Uh, actually, may, maybe you can stay even further back. No, okay. Look at all these bowmen. I'm gonna have them uh hold fire. Wait one second. Hey, that's wrong. Stop shooting! Uh, but I do want loose formations with me now. On me! Move, move, move! Get off the beach! Get right underneath the catapult! Warriors! Move out, archers! Get moving! Oh, that's gonna be. I'm trying to do a line formation instead. I mean, hello, it there. Come on, double time! Move, move, move! Stay, good boy, good boy. You sons of guns, stop killing my men! Move, move, move! Oh, that was a perfect hit, too. Ready your bows! With me now! Get in position! Footmen! Bows down! Ready! Everyone. Take aim! Fire it well! That was very underwhelming, not gonna lie. <laughs> I guess a lot of them got shields, but there we go. It's starting to pick up now. And I think we're close enough for their catapults to not even be a bother. Third time's the charm, baby. So listen to this. And listen to this. This is even more epic. Listen to that! Just gonna have a little peek here. I wanna get close to the action. Oh, hey, buddy! Alright, man! I'm gonna get down from here. Thank you very much for the visit. Oh, they're trying to push it down. Aren't they gonna be able to? Nobody hit that guy, really? Disappointing. We're doing well though, 100 to 30. And remember, 27 of those came from that one tribute shot, that one catapult shot. We just thin out the herd. Every time they expose themselves. Goddamn, was that horsey? Boy! 
Where are you? Yeah, yeah, go back to the camp. Absolutely wonderful work, guys. Keep on slaughtering them. They look like porcupines up there. How many of ours are dead? Only 12? First unit! Advance! Getting close and personal. <laughs> Absolutely insane. This is insane. Can I get up here now, please? I'm taking an arrow in the arm, in the leg, in the shoulder. Another one in the sh of the shoulder. I mean, look at these guys. This guy with a banner, thinking he's somebody. Hey guys. Hear me. Oh. Farewell. Have we started running out of ammo? What's going on here? There, what that? How is he blocking that? <laughs> hey! Okay, tell me how this guy's blocking this. Makes a lot. Do it again. I dare you. I dare you. I double dare you. Shouldn't have done that now, should you? Yeah, same to you, buddy. All right, all right, ammo. Most down! Advance! Up the ladders! I really need to get myself a shorter sword too, don't I? Bowman, get close and comfortable! Stack up the ladder! Here comes the reinforcements! Wait! Wait, hold, hold, move, 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 move. Get off the lattice, make a perimeter on me. Oh, you want to take a shot at me, huh? Hear me! Ultra! Kill them all! Join us! Join the effort! Oh, that's the reinforcements! That's a lot of reinforcements. I'm just gonna pretend like I'm not here. Not that I'm scared of anything, I'm just saying. I'm just not here. Oh, maybe there's some arrows. Nice! Oh, 
Come on, dude. Let's have a sportsmanship attitude here. Oh, there, never mind. Looks like our men are still pouring up the ladders. Oh, come on. Something's wrong with these Edos. Never mind, they're the best Edos I've ever had. What is he just standing there for, huh? Was almost all my health too. I'm not gonna be able to uh, clear the keep now. It's only 11 of them left. What? It's literally raining crusades. Look at that. Look at the amount just waiting to get up. I would call that a successful victory. Only 17 dead, 45 casualties. Counter to our enemies, 229 dead and 100 casualties. I mean, if you take a little gown of these guys, it's not hard to understand why. Look at the amount of men, the amount of arrows. Look at this, guys. What a glorious sight. It almost brings a tear to my eye. One left, probably running to the keep. There we go, perfectly perfect. Even off our horseback, we are an unstoppable force. We're gonna take all the prisoners and just throw them in the tavern because we do need the money right now. And I'm actually gonna take all of the loot because I'm, uh, I'm bleeding cash. If I devastate it, it's gonna give me party gold gain 23, army gold gain 2100. And pillage it because we are crusades after all try to sell all of this that's 14 grand and then our prisoners is 626 oh wow not not anything to write home about but money nonetheless i guess we should be happy that we're making anything and at this point with this much influence policies we have no policies at all land tax 5% of the village income is paid to the ruler, clan, as tax. Who's gonna stop me? Nobody. Absolutely nobody's gonna vote against me because I am the Great Khan. A royal privilege for kingdom decisions influence cost of the ruler. Overriding proper decision outcomes are reduced by 20%. I want this one. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Uh, what else? Debasement of currency. Ruler clan gains 100 dinars per day for each town in their kingdom. Settlement loyalty is decreased by one per day. Now, this might gain us some money in the short term, but it might f our towns in the long term. So we're not going to do it. Uh, you know what? Yes, we are. I just need to stop this bleeding of money. That's my main priority right now. I don't really care about thieves, I guess. Plus 5%. Uh, tax on tariffs is paid to the ruler clan. Yes, tax, tax, tax them to death. They're gonna love me even more now. Imperial towns, towns held by the ruler clan gain one loyalty and one prosperity per day. Towns held by non ruler clan lose. Nah, I mean, it will help me, but it'll screw the rest of the kingdom. Do this one too, royal commissions. Uh, Royal Guard. Thank you very much indeed. Balifs, hunting citizenship, forgiveness of debts. Plus uh, 0 0.5 loyalty per day to settlements that have the same culture as their owner clan. See, we don't really have a single one that has that, so we're not going to do it yet. Trail by Druid tri Tribunes of the People. Town taxes are paid to the ruler clans. Nay, nay, nay. Settlement loyalty is increased by two per day. Settlement production is reduced by five. We're going to do this one. That's going to help with the um, loss of loyalty for the 100 dinars per town. 
war tax the ruler gains five percent tax from all settlements town loses one prosperity per day the influence cost of declaring war is doubled for the ruler clan eh, that's fine i just go find back ways anyways so now i'm kind of unsure if i should have had the um debasement of currency clan a hundred dinars ain't really that much we're gonna uh, we're gonna abolish it because one loyalty per day is actually quite a lot all right so we're still losing money but still got men to fight there's only 134 defenders here that might be a, a nice uh, target for our enemies to aim upon though so what's up with you guys I have can you just now all of a sudden have more men? Is that it? I swear, it's a never-ending recruitment fest. Hey, you know what? I'm not even going to bother. I'm going to let him have his Imperial recruits. And then when we get to battle, I'll just send them in to die. Yeah. Owner of Amperla is going to be the one and only... Huh. I guess I get to choose myself. I'm sorry, buddy. You already got Ornia. I need... I need the money, even if it ain't much. I need just a little bit more money, Dutch. Oi, look at this. We have an army to face. Glorious. You know what I think of you. I don't give a bucks, mate. I want your money, I want your wives, and I want your towns. That's all I care about. Nothing else. Oh. Not really the uh, battlefield for us, is it? We're gonna send in our infantry first, though. Sorry, guys, you're gonna have to die. You guys are with me. All right, Goosites! Who's ready for a good time? Footman! Infantry! Advance! Earn your stripes today, boys! Soldier! Hear me, hear me! Cavalry! Spread out! Oh, they got some normal cavalry here. 141 normal cavalry. That is actually quite a lot. Oh my days. Warriors! Charge! For the Lord! Let loose, man! Let loose! Oh, sorry, buddy. Ah! Saw him from like 99 miles away. Here they come! There's a traffic jam. I need to bring it with me. With me now! I'm going through the front lines! Quickly! Hear me, soldiers! Move! Let's move! I'm getting bogged down. It's just too many of us. Not really, dude. Who's with me for a f I was gonna say a final charge, but it's not like we're losing. Warriors! Move out! Spread out! Prepare for charge! Go 
Use it! Draw your blades! Charge! For the horde! Looks like they did it fine by themselves anyways. That was very costly. We did lose a lot of men. This is not the battlefield for us. But nonetheless, we were victorious and it's gonna yield us a lot of great loot, I think. Only 16 influence? What? 115 upgrades. So let's see how many uh, nomads. 38 earned their stripes. They get a lot of good upgrades. Uh, not that much loot actually, so I'm gonna have to take it all. I'm sorry, guys, but I need the money and I need it now. I am wounded. I'm tucking my tail. I'm going back for reinforcements. Looks like the Western Empire has declared war too. This is no good. No good at all. Let's see, Western Empire, where are they situated? Aren't they all the way over here? Why did they have a problem with us? Just because I've chopped a couple of lords' heads off? You know what? Oh no, he just escaped! Oh! I was not about to do it, I promise. Alright, they're recruiting a bunch of troops you don't need. Uh, trade all of this. This. Ten thousand, wow. And we're gonna expect these guys to talk to party leader. Let me inspect your troops again. Not that bad. She only got nine uh, of the wrong ones. There we go. 114 out of 114. What about you? Talk to party leader. Let me inspect. All right. Not too bad. Now this guy. Hi, are we? Ah, uh, let's see. We want type. Wow, he can take so many. Are you kidding me? Is he gonna take all my horse archers? I know I'm giving it to him. Uh, voluntarily. But if I then go, I must leave now. Yes, yes, yes. We're going here. Tavern district. Ransom all prisoners. And then we go ahead and go to the keep. Managed garrison. We're going to put you, you. Wait a second. Wait, nomads, you're staying with me. I'm left with 25 troops myself. Well, well, well. Looks like we're going to have to go back to Kusei territory and recruit even more men. I wish there was uh, just like in some mods where the culture change, or at least the recruitable units do. It is such a hassle in the normal base game where it doesn't. I probably have her penalty. No, we don't. Okay, that's surprising. Well, look at this. This is great. Already up to 33. That was nine in just one village. If it just continues like this, we're only going to have to visit, what? 20 villages? <gasps> Ooh, baby! Straight up to 55. Oh, sorry. Not you. Do you have another perk available? Yes, we do. I'm going to put one point into scouting and another point into social. Thank you. Gala the Wanderer gained the level. Congratulations. All of you except you.
If anybody knows of a way to only allow your parties to recruit one certain type of unit, please let me know down below. I would highly appreciate the help. We're already up to 451 and I only have 76 out of uh, how many? Out of 315? All right, not you. Wow, that is a lot of ready recruits. Thank you very much indeed. That does also mean that we're going to need a higgity heck of a lot more horses. And a higgity heck of a lot more money. We don't have the money. We already got 55 upgrades. We need 37 more normal mounts. Uh, yes, I'm going to accept the uh, ransom offer because we're low on cash. Like, how much are my thieves bringing in? Barely any money. So taxes, tariffs. Uh, everything is going well. Loyalty is looking well. Loyalty is at least stagnant in Imperla. Loyalty is good here. Everything is in the green. Except for the garrison wages, obviously, and the prosperity. I think that's the problem. Did we invoke a policy? What was about prosperity? Uh, let's see. For kingdom visionary, yes. Crown duty. Settlement prosperity is increased by one per day. Uh, we're gonna try and abolish this one. See if that ups. The income a bit. Of the thieves. But it's gonna take some time to uh, turn itself around. Having horse archers is an absolutely expensive endeavor. I should have stayed a mercenary. That was way more profitable. Uh, you only have one normal mount. No, that's a saddle horse. Guess I bought out your stock last time, huh? I'm going to make our way down to Tismil too. I'm going to go back to Uchtum, see if they replenish their stocks. I mean, we have 69 available upgrades. 65 nomads who wants to mount a horse, but they cannot because there's no horse to mount. They mount each other, maybe. Yes. Thank you. I know there's a horse village here. We're going to take that road too. Let's see what you got here. All right. We have something at least. And something... Is a lot better than nothing. It's going to be very expensive. Mighty expensive indeed. Scouting, we have another one. Ranger or tracker. Plus 20% track visibility duration. Plus 20% track spotting distance. Yes. All you except you. I mean, I'm not impressed. Stepped horse. That is a normal amount. We got eight. Still 66. Nomads ready. And the, the nomads are absolutely useless by themselves in combat. So it's all about the horses now. How many horses can we uh, accumulate? I mean, I guess we can start going into Imperial Towns too. I mean, a horse is a horse, isn't it? Hunter, that's nice. Couple of war mounts. Uh, isn't this where I was just at? I don't think so. I 
I'm not paying 1600. That ain't happening. I guess what's uh, more expensive here is the fact that I'm going ahead and recruiting nomads. But if I'm just going to recruit already mounted cavalry, the initial price is going to be more. And guess what? We're going to be here forever. If I was just going to get this one guy, so that I can get all of these guys, except for this guy. And we're up, already up to 209. Here we go. Here we're talking. Uh, mount. Mount. Were mount, was it? I think it was just normal mount. Still 10,000. And the, I feel like the amount just grows, doesn't it? 68. All right, Esme, Oslig, Kurukuluk, Bakaland. I'm betting on you guys to give me good price. This is very good price. Look at that. Oh, and we got some more demounted troops. We're still 95 away from max capacity. That is insane. Ah, we can get all of these guys, except for you as well. These are castle villagers, so they might have better troops. Two thirty-nine. Paying six thousand a day, down to three hundred k. Get out of here, you 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 get out of here. Ah. Oh. Oh, let's see what we got here. We got some normal mounts. Stepped hunter. I can't pay above a thousand. That's just, that's just, just, I can't. I cannot afford it. We're about to break under 300,000 for the first time in a long time. This is a good price. This is very nice. What about you, Bacalan? What do you have to offer? A lot of normal troops, a lot of nomads. That does mean we're up to 271 out of 315, so we're closing in. And let's see what they got here. Uh, not impressive. And we are way below 300,000 now. Gonna make our way back again. And some more to cohesion. Obviously, it's free because I am the Khan. Settlement is under attack. The Northern Empire. 106 available upgrades. 66. It seems like 66 is the uh, number of uh, our curse. Seems to be what we're struggling to get below in terms of left to recruit. Tepes. Oh, thank you. What about Chapetti? You're going to be as good as your neighboring village? Nope. All right, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm betting on you. We're at 312 though, which means we're almost maxed out. Pack camel. Never gonna have my men riding on a camel. That's not happening. Three more troops, and we'd not have more space. All we need then is horses. Just gonna get these guys 315. Alright. So 97 available upgrades. 89 more normal mounts. That's what we need. <sighs> All right. You know what? We haven't visited the Sturgeons in a while. They're not known for having a bunch of horses, but you never know. 
Are the surgeons even at war with anybody? Batania as always, of course. Is there a horse village here? I'm gonna go straight to the great city of TL. We're now paying six and a half thousand a day. We need to we need to end our tribute payments to the Azadai. That's what's bugging us down here. We're paying almost two thousand a day in tributes. Somebody's raiding our villages. This is not good for prosperity either. All right, this is um, uh, actually very uh, surprising. They got some horses here. Oh, saddle horse. Nah, no, that's not what I need. All right, we're not going to go deeper into surgeon territory. I don't have that much faith in the guys. Sorry. Do I have another perk? Hey, I don't. They keep telling me. 97 nomads left, huh? You know what? We're gonna start raiding stuff. That will that way they'll eventually sue for peace themselves. So that we can focus all of our might on the Azerai. We cannot we cannot afford to continue to pay that. So I'm gonna have to force some peace here. Uh force them to give you goods. I'm gonna raid it. Hopefully this also baits out an army. Hilvete. Shut your mouth, boy. I'm gonna go this way. There's an army, but I don't think we're quick enough to catch up to it, are we? Are we gonna meet them in the forest? Please don't give me the bad battlefield. Oh, nice. All right. So these 81 nomads, they're going to get a free pass. Uh, I don't know who brought you guys. Probably me, not going to lie. You're going to have to die. And my 530 mounted cavalry looking absolutely majestic. This is the great crusade hall right in front of you. Horse. You guys. Charge. And the rest of you. Footman, hear me. Just um, stay Swear there. You're not allowed to participate because you're not mounted. I'm sorry. Now, uh, which one among you wants to level up in this world? Which one among you wants to join me? And what's funny is that all of those guys back da uh, there, if they just had a horse, they could have joined us because they're high enough level. Soldier, ride in for team warriors. Move. A bit of a closer column here. Warriors! Riders! Soldiers! Cut them down! Cut them down, boys! I wanna see this. By the way, I can probably get the way better horse, can't I? Our normal cavalry are they gonna be able to do anything? Okay, hell with that. How am I not even hitting anything? There we go. Where's the horde? Oh, here it comes. Oh my days, look at that! It looks like a tide is coming in. Uh. 
Have they even released their arrows yet? What is even going on here? Can you start firing perhaps? What are they doing? Is it too many? They're just standing there? I think they're too close to each other because there's too many of them so they won't fire their arrows have we reached a max capacity maybe we need to start splitting them up into smaller forces and look at this this is absolutely not very mobile I do lose formation, maybe that will open them up a bit. They're completely stuck, aren't they? Get moving. Widen them up. I don't know what the heck is going on here, but it looks like a proper traffic jam. Everyone hear me! Hold on! Warrior! Release arrows! A couple of them are coming out Starting to split up, but come on What is going on here guys? You guys want to talk about it or what? What if I ride through it trying to Get this shit sorted Just get moving Some of you are blocking others idiots If you let the person next to you go you might get out of here yourselves even quicker. All right, we got it. We got it sorted. Idiots! Oh my days! All right, hold fire! Everyone, soldiers! Get closer! There we go. That looks better. Get even closer. Ready, Arrows. Hear me. Fire Let's go away. Go Sound of this. Look at that. Never ending it ain't of Arrows. All right, they're moving forward. Hear me, hear me. Are we able to even maneuver backwards here? Create some space. Warrior, down. Shoot arrows. Only reason I'm doing this is so cool when they will fire once. <laughs> Charge! Let's see if they can do it this time. All right, looks like we're having slight issues here. They're struggling to make their way around. We're getting too big. We're getting bogged down in ourselves here. And it's literally killing ourselves. Uh, 
I think as soon as we get kind of moving here, but look at this absolute traffic jam. And everybody knows that horse archers are the best against infantry troops. Idiot. Ah! I knew once I saw the big stick man it was all over let's see how this yeah you can see them bugging down but that's fine we did lose 67 though have we reached the point of too much maybe splitting a them up into two different forces or smaller forces would have been a great idea we did nonetheless lose 67 men that's very unfortunate i think they might have sent in the nomads too thank you i will have to take all the loot all right well what they would do wrong We'll uh, test and experiment a little bit more in the next episode because this is the end of today. If you did enjoy and you do want to see more, you know exactly what to do. Go down below, leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, Vikings.